So Brendan, we are here with uh, Joe Powell Jr. And so Joe, why are you coming along today? Ronnie, I've known Ronnie for donkey's years. You know, he's a lovely guy, Ronnie. Yeah. And uh, so, um, you know, uh, he's good pals with your dad, wasn't he? Yeah, and it, you know, free beer and all. So, uh, and <laughs> free bar done it for you, Joe. Yeah, definitely. Come along. <laughs> no, look, look, I've known Ronnie since I was Jesus, since I was a kid. Yeah, yeah, you know, Ronnie's always been part and parcel of the, of the, um, of the family, really. And you know, I've always been with us, you know. Well, what type of a guy is he? Is he very sort of staunch, loyal? He was a he was a very loyal to me, Dad. Yeah. Very loyal to me, Dad. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, I was in Belmarsh, wasn't I? In, in, back in '91, when Belmarsh just opened. <laughs> so, I remember Dave telling me he was in there with Charlie Cray, mm. and because um, they was only allowed a little bit of telly at the time in the unit, mm. and they used to watch Supermarket Sweep because that's what Charlie liked with Dale Winton. That was <laughs> that's the only thing yeah. they ever watched. No, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, it was funny with um, you know, I've known Ronnie. He's a lovely fella. He's a, you know, he's a nice fella. It, it, you know, he's staunch, absolutely staunch. Uh, got Nick, done a lot of time in Bird. Um, yeah, 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 you know, kept his mouth shut when he got nicked, and what else can you ask for for a man? You know, I mean, he, 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 he's a man, that's why I'd say that. You know, all these other arseholes that make out their men, they get nicked, and all they want to do is open their mouth and, and, and be rats and talk their way out of it. You know, he got nicked and he done the old school way, kept stumped and say nothing. You know? So. You know, he's got my he is the last of a very dying breed, isn't he? He's the very last of that sort of um, group of people. Him and Fred, really, are the last two survivors, aren't they? Yeah, you, you, you know, there's a... You, you know, Ronnie... I'm oh, no, Robert, isn't he? Old Blagger. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, um, just, just solid, just solid men. You know what I mean? You don't meet too many solid men nowadays. You get, you, you get many, all they want to do is slag people off and be... You know, he was, he, he's a solid guy, you, you know, tried and tested, what we always say. You, you know, he got nicked, he kept his mouth shut. And, you know and he, I mean? he was one of the people that carried your dad's coffin. Oh. So I, asked, I asked him to do it, yeah. But, uh, and Ronnie, of course, you know what I mean, he, 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 he jumped in straight away, you know. Fantastic. Thank you, well, listen, thanks, thanks a lot, John. I'm just honoured to have been here and been a part of... Ron's little day here, what a perfect day for him. Got all the real stars here, he's, he's a star himself yeah. and well worthy of his little bit of uh, celebration at the minute. Yeah, so you wishing uh, him luck with his book? Yeah, all the luck in the world, you know. You know, you know Ronnie with Cornish, I'll give a shout out to Cornish Mick as well. You, you know, it's Ronnie and Cornish Mick. And, uh, I always called them, they were like Billy the Kid, they were like Jesse James, and they were, they were old school blaggers, you know. <laughs> they were old school, like, you know, boom! They walked, they walked, in, walked into a bank, you know. But, uh, yeah, beautiful men, beautiful men. And, you know, God bless him, Cornish Smith just passed away, so I want to give a shout out to Cornish. And, uh, yeah, you, you know, and uh, the power of them, beautiful men, good men. Uh, well, they're, they're men that history will not repeat. We won't get these type of men ever again, I'm afraid. The, the life, the world they come from after the war, the hardship they had, yeah. made them what they were in a lot of ways. Yeah. And I think the world's getting watered down by every generation. It's getting less and less. Do you know, I see someone the other day, someone said 50% of youngsters don't even know what D-Day was. That's, yeah. I see that. <laughs> yeah, I see that. That's, yeah. that's horrendous yeah. for us yeah. as a country, isn't it? Absolutely. For our history, for our, all them people that died, that the youngsters ain't got a clue what they've done it for. You know, so, but, yeah, well, that's another day. Well, we're still here anyway. Cats, come here. Come show them. This is my youngest one. Oh, fantastic. Getting them in the way, My youngest boy, Cass. Oh, Cass look fantastic. <laughs> what do you think of your dad? Greatest man ever. <laughs> He's always been here. What's his best qualities? Uh, brave. Honourable. That's all the qualities. That is all the qualities that his his granddad and his dad sort of implemented in that family. Like they live on that. His granddad was the absolute bollocks. I can say that. I was privileged and lucky enough to meet him. And as I say, Dave Courtney modelled himself on Joe Pyle. So. I, we can't give him a bigger accolade than that. Fantastic. Thanks very much, guys.